Hey guys, thank you for joining me. Today's video, I'm going to be doing a haul video unboxing of some bits that I got from Zooplus. If you haven't heard of Zooplus before, they are an online pet store um, that have a variety of different products for different animals. Unfortunately, if you're from the UK and you order from Zooplus, you know that at the moment in the UK, the amount of things that you could order from there have gone down drastically since Brexit and it's really sad because they have such great prices and yeah it makes me sad but they still have a few really really good things for great prices and I managed to get quite a few little bits you can see these boxes behind me here I haven't opened either of them yet so I'm going to be completely opening them and unboxing them with you guys I also have a few little bits over here from pets at home which I'm going to show you as well that I got the other day but the majority of the stuff is going to be from zoo plus and I'm also going to link everything in the description down below if you are interested so I'm going to start with this box here so I'm just gonna grab some scissors. This is so exciting. Okay. So the first item that I ordered is the Trixie Willow Tunnel. So I've already got one of these for UA and she absolutely loves it. So I thought I would get a second one. This is going to be going in Albus's cage. So I will just show you guys here. It's a really good size as well. It's definitely big enough for a Syrian. They do have um, a larger one as well, if you did want to get a slightly larger one. But yeah, it's pretty sturdy. And yeah, UA loves hers. So hopefully Albus will as well. The second item I ordered was this little corner cabin hideaway. Wow, this is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. This is a great size for both Syrians and for dwarfs. So yeah, it's really, really lovely. It's really, it looks really well made. I'll show you up here. Let me take it out of the packaging so you guys can see it a little bit better. I just sprinkled bits of wood all over my carpet. I'll be hoovering after this. Okay. So here you go, you can see it a little bit better now. It's really, really large, really well made. There is a couple of little bits of glue here, which ideally, I mean, you don't want that. But apart from that, it's made really well. This is probably going to be going into UA's Detoff. Um, I'm actually going to be filming quite an exciting video for you guys that will be out next week. So if you do want to stay tuned and see what I get up to, then make sure you click that subscribe button down below. So both of these items were really well priced. I think the corner cabin was $4.99, which for the size of it is absolutely brilliant. And for the Willow Tunnel, I think... I think I paid about three pounds, but I'm not entirely sure. I'll, if it's different, I'll put the price up on the screen for you guys. Um, but yeah, I'm going to link everything down in the description for you as well. So my order got shipped in two parts. So I have a second box to open now. So let's go ahead and open that one. So this one has a few more bits inside and it came packaged with some nice little bubbly stuff to keep it all safe so yeah I really like the way that they package their items oh this looks so good okay so the first thing in this box is the Trixie grass mat that I ordered and I ordered two of these so I've got one for UA and one for Albus um, these I just wanted to get so they can look a little bit more natural in their enclosure and I can have a few more things hanging from like the ceiling as well these I don't know how much these normally retail for but on Z plus these were $1.99 each like that's a great price for them I don't, I don't think I've ever seen them cheaper than that they're really really large I, I'm gonna hold it next to my head so you can see <laughs> but they're really big so yeah no it's a great price for them I know they'll both enjoy chewing on these as well so it's just a little bit more enrichment for them too the next thing I decided to get was some cork logs so I got two Again, one for each of the hamsters. This is the medium size I ordered. I was really unsure on what size to get. Um, and I was trying to read through kind of some of the reviews and stuff. But yeah, they are 
quite big. I'm obviously going to give the bigger one to Albus. This has a much larger um, entrance for it, so that will be a lot more suited to him whereas with this one you can see the entrance is a lot lot smaller so i wouldn't want to give that one to him just in case he was to get stuck in there but i think this will be absolutely fine for ua as she is pretty tiny um so yeah again these are going to be going in to both of their homes pretty soon um i've wanted to get these for a while now as well just because i think they look great in natural enclosures too uh how much did these cost i I think I think they were around four pounds each as well and um, again I'll put the price the actual price on the screen for you guys so that you know exactly how much I paid for them but yeah cork lugs last thing that I got from zoo plus so on zoo plus one thing that's really kind of cool about their website is that whenever you place an order you get given points and they have like a points reward shop system thing so that whenever you have your points you can use them to get free items they have loads of different items on there a lot of them are more kind of focused towards cats or dogs but they do have some stuff for hamsters and small animals as well um so these can be literally things from like small treats up until I think I saw even like a, a really big like cat litter box on there as well so it's really beneficial like you get quite a lot of points every time you order so yeah for free this time I got these little fruity skewers again I just got one each for both of the hams because I don't want to give to one what I don't give to the other but yeah they're really really cute you can use these to just add some fruits or vegetables onto here and you can hang it from the top of their cages um, and it can just act as a little bit more enrichment for them and make them work a little bit more for their food so yeah I've got one of each of these um, and that's everything that I got from Zoo Plus so I do also have a couple of bits from Pets at Home to show you guys as well as um a couple of little diys that i made yesterday i didn't film making them but they were super simple and i'm actually really proud of them so i thought i would show you guys as well so first of all from pets at home i got this big bag of aspen bedding so this is the 20 litre bag um, and it was around 12 pounds 50 i believe um, so aspen is absolutely fine for hamsters it is a safe bedding to use um, and i'm going to use this in again both of their homes i like to add quite a few different substrates in just so it kind of gives it a different look and a different feel for them and it's a little bit more enriching next thing i found i am really excited about because i never really know where to order these from so i'm quite happy that i managed to find this and it's got like a load of different varieties so that is the naturals harvest feast that i found it's got a load of different sprays and things inside i'm going to turn it around so you guys can see it a little bit better there think you can see that so yeah it's got a load of different sprays inside it's got some oat sprays and stuff like that so they will both really enjoy foraging for that and it just means that I didn't have to search forever to find all the different ones it just comes in a big pack so they will both really benefit from this this was around four pounds I think from pets at home um, and I know they do them both in store and online as well the last thing I got from Pets at Home was the Cocoa Fiber Brick. So again, as we're kind of heading into spring now, um, I wanted to give them a different kind of substrate that I've never actually given them before. So I wanted them to have some kind of dirt that they could dig around into and have a little bit of fun hopefully so I decided to get the cocoa fiber brick I've been looking for quite a while at what kind of one I wanted to get I wasn't sure if I was going to try and buy it loose or whatever but I decided to go for the brick I'm actually going to make a video on how to turn this brick into um, a soil that you can give to your hamsters because I think a lot of people get kind of confused about how to make them up because they're obviously made for reptiles you and it advises that you add quite a lot of water into it however if you were to add that much water it would take forever to dry out because you have to make sure that it is dry before you put it into your hamster's enclosure um so yeah i'm gonna make a video on how i did it because i actually 
I was gonna experiment with it a little bit, but I made it up in the first time. It went really well. It dried literally within a day um, and was ready to use. So that should hopefully be helpful for all of you guys if you're thinking about adding a different substrate in as well. I'm gonna end this haul video by showing you guys a little DIY that I made the other day that I'm really proud of. So I've wanted to get one of these for a while, but they're very expensive to buy well, for me, they're expensive to buy. They're about 20 to 30 pounds. So I decided I was just gonna make them out of cardboard because, you know, why not? So I made a little one, first of all, for UA. So this has got just little dwarf size holes in there. And I just literally made this out of cardboard and a glue gun. Um, yesterday, it took me about five minutes to make. And then I made a larger one for Albus. So this one is a little bit bigger. I'm gonna probably aim to put his wheel on top of here as well, just so I have like a little wheel stand for it to go on. Cause he loves to uh, put a lot of bedding underneath his wheel and then it doesn't turn properly. So hopefully, that will help him be able to run a little bit better on there as well as acting as a nice little hide for him too. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. I will definitely make sure to link all of the items down below. Please like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed watching this. Let me know if there's anywhere else you would like to see me do a haul video from um, that is able to post to the UK, of course, because that is where I'm based. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you all next time.